So with the season officially being over now, there is a lot of transfer rumours coming out all the time. Now, while a lot of Arsenal rumours centre around strikers such as Sesco, there has also been a lot of rumours in the midfield, whether Arsenal will buy 6 or 8 or who they will buy in them positions. Now, one of the major candidates that has come to light is Yusuf Fofana from AS Monaco. But why is he so good for the roles at Arsenal and why and how can he fit into the system that Arteta uses? To find out these answers, please please continue to watch the video and please like and subscribe for any more football and Arsenal content. Now Yusuf Fofana has been a player that has been making a lot of headlines in the last few years. He has been playing for Monaco since 2020 and has played up to 175 games for the team. But he's also got international recognition playing 17 games for France in the last few years and a lot of people liken him to a very good boxer box midfielder with a lot of defensive duties and attacking duties as well. Now despite Monaco not being the best team in the world they had a pretty good year this year Fafana has got a lot of recognition from outside of France as well a lot of people have been trying to sign this guy through the last few years and with his performances as well coming on for France even in the World Cup a lot of people have decided to notice him a lot more so this is when I say that I would expect Arsenal to be able to buy this guy for around 20 to 25 mil which may seem a bit of a weird thing with given what I've just said this is because his contract actually ends with Monaco next year and his market value for a box to box centre mid Fielder playing in Liga 1 is around 30 mil. They're not going to be asking for a lot of money for a position where you have a lot of other players in the world. Despite that, I still think Arsenal should really be going in for this player for that value. And despite being described as a box to box midfielder, he is primarily a defensive player. He likes and prefers playing in the six, but has played in the eight as well a lot. But this is also down to the fact that the French league isn't as aggressive and as quick as the Premier League. And a lot of the times, he has more time than he probably would in other leagues on the ball giving him more opportunity to actually go forward with it and it's not that big a deal if he loses it in some transitional situation. Now when it comes to his main qualities they are definitely down to physical strength, stamina and the ability to press opponents to win possession back quite easily. A lot of people describe this guy as a mini Thomas Party, and I would say he does play a little bit like Thomas Party, but maybe doesn't have the passing level and is actually a lot better defensively and be impressed. But the one given thing about Fafana is that no matter if he's playing in the 8 role or the 6 role he is so good at progressive passes and progressive running with the ball. Now he has played in a lot of different partnerships in midfield and usually Monaco play a 4-4-2 system where he usually is alongside another defensive minded player. This time it is Kamara this season but it has been people like Tuchemeni in the past. In this system both midfielders are tasked with winning the ball back and progressing the ball forward to try and get it to the more creative players. They have to have great pace and stamina to cover plenty of ground in midfield and be able to track buck and make recoveries. And sometimes Sometimes even have to stay back even further to help the fullbacks push up and allow them to get into elevated positions. Now his movement off the ball is actually brilliant and he loves sitting back with the two defenders to try and help the ball progression but he also is very alert at seeing any spaces in the midfield and progressing the ball that way as well. He doesn't like doing things necessarily always so easily, he will always come down the left side to help people create an overload and his role is being that extra man in any other position and always helping the backline in any defensive stuff they need to do. He's very good at receiving the ball in between the lines and because he is quite press resistant he is very good at keeping the ball if people go onto it but his altering position and his support of other teammates around the pitch is so vital to Monaco and can be so vital to Arsenal where he can come in even into the box late and at his six foot one stature win headers in the box but also be on the edge of the box making passes like Party did for Arsenal. And his progressive passes and progressive carries are good enough to warrant being in the team. He has nearly two progressive carries per 90 and around eight and a half progressive passes which is a big amount while also doing around one and a half successful take on so he isn't afraid to go forward despite being doubted as a six mostly and he is willing to run at defenders now this has meant some of his tackle numbers are a bit lower than you would expect if he was probably playing in that six role still making around two tackles per game one clearance one and a half blocks and one and a half interceptions while also creating around 3.3 shot creating actions and having around two shots per game which is a lot for someone in his role and the fact that all his stats are at a good level going forward and defensively mean as an eight, as a box to box midfielder, he is doing his job. He is getting into the box, getting outside it, creating things while also doing the defensive work. And to even do that role, you have to have a lot of physicality and a lot of off the ball movement and a lot of awareness to be in the right positions to make this happen. And although he does play in a 4-4-2, which is not necessarily what Arsenal play, he is used to playing in that double pivot, working with his other midfielder, who's going to go to different balls, who's going to help each other 
other and when they are going to work together to close people down or back off people. This is something that Arsenal really need to have in a double pivot and we're going to have to sign a midfielder to work in a double pivot with Rice eventually in games because not all the time we're going to be playing how we do. This is where I think this could become really vital and he can work with Rice who's obviously a very intelligent player as well and they can play off each other very well and I think it could work for Arsenal. Now despite the price being quite low there is some weaknesses about the player. Now obviously 25 is a brilliant age and it's something that Arsenal really look for when they try and buy players but there is some things that may put him off such as his passing not being at a brilliant level. Now per game we have spoke about how he's creating a lot, he's getting a lot of assists and making a lot of progressive passes but his medium and his long passes are not that impressive of what Arsenal would expect someone like Party to do in that role. His long passing is only ranking around three passes a game and he's attempted around six only at a 50% completion and even his medium passing is not a lot doing around 20. Now this could be looked at with Monaco system though they don't get the ball a lot and although they may do in some players his role is to pretty much give it off to the creative outlets but Arsenal would still want someone that can be comfortable on the ball given they're going to get pressed and it's going to be a lot quicker in the Premier League. Another concern is probably his aerials he loses more or loses about 50% of the ones that he plays in and considering he's six foot one, he's probably not going to win that many in the Premier League but it would be nice to win some in there because Arsenal do like their midfielders being very physical and winning a lot of headers. This is why someone like Amadou Anana has been linked with Arsenal in that six role because he's going to be a dual heavy guy and while Fafana probably plays a little bit more like a Kante role while in a round he isn't necessarily going to win them aerial duels which put more pressure on people like Havertz to come back in midfield. Now despite Fafana playing as an eight predominantly for Monaco this season I still think for a six role for Arsenal would probably be the best place for him. He's very good off the ball and can cover and be a sweeper behind the other players and gives Arsenal more options definitely defensively. Now I've been someone that wants Arsenal to sign an eight and put Rice back into the six over the other way round but at the 20 25 mil price range I do not mind us getting this midfielder in and someone else in to play in the eight in the six role so we can versatilely change. I think a Fafana's play style is something that Arsenal are missing because he has what part he has and maybe he doesn't have the great long passing that he does but he's better on the ball and better more importantly off the ball at being in the right position and running around he's going to be a big engine in there for us and we need that in some of our tight games. And I do think him passing off to players like Odegaard will give Odegaard more influence and it's not necessarily the worst thing in the world he won't get the ball that much and it's good to have someone that can just go in there and tackle loads of other players this is why I think Jao Polinho was linked to Arsenal back in the day because he is someone that is just going to go around making a lot of tackles rather than really be that good on the ball and it also gives a lot of versatility and options in there you could always play for Fana as another eight if we have injuries or you want to play him in that role and put Rice back into the six in games where we have struggled in that in the past such as the buying game for its instance. This ability to be able to change both of the midfielders around when we need to to give them both more comfortability or maybe us a bit more pressure could be a really good idea because I think most of the players that were linked to in an eight role won't or can't play that six role like Fafana can and his ability to carry the ball which he does a lot progressively and carrying distance in general I think can really help us in that role out there. Of course we still need to progress to Martinelli or whoever's on that left wing and with his passing stats that wouldn't necessarily bring that but at least him being in their positions might give him more space other than with Rice in there. Now if Fafana was to join the club you would see him probably replace the Thomas Party era or place that he has been. If you look at their stats per 90 from last season comparison to each other you can see that Fafana obviously has played a lot more games so you have to take them all with a little bit of salt. Is making a lot less passes but he ultimately is actually creating more. He's making more forward passes, he's winning more duels and he's doing better ball recovery. Now some of these stats such as chance creation you probably expect because Fafana's playing a little bit more forward than Party, with Party being behind Rice. But things such as duels won, clearances, ball recoveries and tackles you would expect Party to be near or nowhere about where Fafana is. But Monaco obviously do sustain a lot more pressure and a lot more of the ball will be for the other teams than it will be for Arsenal. That being said when Party has come in Arsenal have neglected the ball a little bit and been actually a little bit more counter attack and style. Overall Arsenal would do a brilliant job to bring Fafana to the club. He's wanted by a lot of other big teams that so will be hard but for the value of around 25 mil I don't really see it being a flop at all. He can play in a 6, he can play as an 8. I think he'll predominantly play as the 6 if you want to include Rice in that 8 role. And I still think with this assignment of Fafana you could go out and buy another centre midfielder for a lot of money. Maybe someone like Frankie De Jong or Bruno Gamares or even Jao Neves that can actually bring that balance to the team and Fafana can be on the bench at least for 
for a bit at the start and then you can bring him into the team a little bit later just gives Arsenal more options in midfield and I think Arsenal do a lot more wrong to go for another player than Fofana thank you guys for watching let me know what you think about Yusuf Fofana as a football player and if he thinks he will suit Arsenal or do you think Arsenal should just go in for other directions more as someone's an eight or is that other sixes that you like as well let me know what you think about this video and let me know what videos you want me to do over this summer period thank you guys for watching I'll see you in the next one